The chemical industry has a huge part to play in climate change, and INEOS O&P UK at Grangemouth has come a long way in reducing their greenhouse gas emissions. They are determined to keep going, and their long-term goals reflect this, including their support and involvement in a pioneering carbon capture and storage system. We went to Grangemouth to find out more. Scotland has set itself an ambitious target of reaching net carbon zero by 2045. To achieve this, it's essential that all businesses and individuals play their part. Here at INEOS in Scotland's industrial heartland, they've already reduced their CO2 emissions by 37% in the last 15 years. But there's still work to do, and it's work they're absolutely committed to. There's been a manufacturing plant here in Grangemouth for nearly a hundred years. The first chemical plant was built in the 50s. They produce the raw materials that are used in so many of our essential items integral to our everyday lives, from food and drink and pharmaceuticals to products for transport and agriculture. And as one of Scotland's largest manufacturers and employers, the drive to go green is gathering momentum. Tell us a bit about the Acorn project. The Acorn project, we're really excited about it. This is Scotland's carbon capture and storage project. Uh, it's using depleted old uh, North Sea oil fields off the northeast coast of Scotland. It's using existing infrastructure and the aim is to safely store CO2 offshore. And here at Ineos Grangemouth, we are really, really excited to be part of it. Why is this so important now? I think it's so important now for two reasons. I think firstly, society is demanding change just now and we're part of society and we want to change. And I think secondly, net zero in Scotland is targeted for 2045 and we've set an ambitious 2030 target on that road to 2045 and we need to start that now. So it's a huge site. You can see there's lots of activity going on and this is going to be transformed when the buildings come out of the ground and form the new plant. Here at ENEOS, they're always innovating. As part of their commitment to supporting the goals of the Paris Accord, they're continuing to drive down emissions. They're investing £350 million building a new power and steam plant that will be hydrogen ready and will ultimately reduce emissions by 5% a year. Tell us about the new plant and how it fits in with your roadmap for 2045. This plant uh, that's being constructed is to produce power and steam. It will last on the site for the next 20, 30, 40 years and ensure that the, the site can carry on producing. And in doing so, it will reduce the carbon dioxide emissions from the site by around 150,000 tonnes per year. It's clearly a very exciting development to see this being built here at Grangemouth. It's not just about reducing your greenhouse gases here, is it? It's about you being an enabler for other sectors. The products that we make here go into a wide range of applications. For example, the products are used in planes and cars and make them lighter so they use less fuel. Also, the products go into making wind farms, the batteries for energy storage, solar panels. So they're part of the whole net zero transition that we're all going through. Integral to this roadmap is the next generation of innovators. Encouraging STEM subjects in schools is vital. In the chemical industry, we're always trying to encourage uh, children who are in school to come and work in our industry. But even more so now, we're on a net zero journey because once we get beyond 2030, the children in school just now will be the... We need to encourage them into our industry because they'll be the innovators, they'll be the scientists and they'll be the engineers who will deliver that, that path. INEOS is looking to invest more than a billion pounds here at Grangemouth on its route to 2045, such as its commitment to cutting emissions. Getting to 2045 is absolutely critical. Society demands it, we demand it, the planet demands it, and here at INEOS Grangemouth we will get there.